Hello everyone and welcome back to my new YouTube video. Today I actually thought I would start making a weekly vlog because we've got I think exactly one week before we are traveling to Europe and there is I will be slowly sipping my coffee because it's morning time and my throat is really heavy so I need to be drinking something but today I actually thought I would start making a weekly vlog because there is a lot of things what we need to do and today I actually thought today is the only day when I can give a haircut to Del Boy. I do have desire haircut that I gave him last time and that is my plan to give him this time. I'm not too sure if it will come through because every single time whenever I give him haircut it comes <laughs> comes out completely differently so I don't really know every single time whenever I don't know something how to do I always look and watch multiple videos on YouTube and then do it myself so that's the thing what I'm doing now as well now I gave him like third hair uh, like third haircut already so I think I will be okay today but last time when I gave him haircut I said I need different pair of scissors and I start searching on Amazon and I actually found this set that is so brilliant and it was so inexpensive I think it was around maybe 20 22 pound and you have literally everything so it comes like this the one scissors that I really really needed were these ones they're much more better than a normal human hair scissors because with them ones I could not cut his hair at all so today my plan is to become a dog groomer and cut your hair by the way this I never saw in Aldi that they would be selling this but they start actually selling kefir yogurt which look like this they have different um, flavors yesterday for breakfast I actually had the strawberry one and then I think they have like passion fruit and kiwi one it's uh, really high in protein so if you're someone like me who doesn't really like to be eating heavy breakfast I feel this one is really really great and they actually taste really nice I wasn't sure I never had kefir yogurt before I always buy whenever I buy kefir I buy it like in the liquid version but this one is like proper thick yogurt but it tastes like kefir we do have still the passion fruit in fridge and yesterday morning time I had the strawberry the strawberry was really nice but so far my favorite one was the natural one so this one is the one that I will be having right now then I made myself coffee now I would say 30 minutes at least it will take me to do Del Boy's brushing and after that I will take you to the kitchen and I will start cutting his hair. I will somewhere include the shot that I would want him to look like. But not too sure how that will turn out. So far, <laughs> he looks like this. Our fair ball of happiness. Yes, yes.
so today is Tuesday already I didn't really record much during the day um, because during the day we were in a rush Eunice was in the office and then afternoon he picked me up we quickly went to Centre London collect his visa now he just dropped me back home to double check on Del Boy so I just quickly went for a walk with him the weather outside today is just dreadful so we didn't really do much outdoor today we are actually heading back out again um, Eunice meant to go to Norwich but plan changed so we decided to go to Lakeside because we planned evening we will do some small little bits of shopping for my family and then Eunice wanted to buy some new clothes but now let me just quickly bring Del Boy in and then we're heading to Lakeside. <laughs> So we just made it back home and our shopping was pure success. We end up going to Lakeside TK Maxx only because everything, whatever I needed to buy for every single person in my family, we end up buying. We went like for usual, like some skincare, hair care, makeup, hair accessories. I also bought some ramen for my dad because he absolutely loved it. And I managed to find a few things for our house this is everything whatever i end up buying so we bought a lot of things and um on our way back because it is quite late we end up going for some veg pizza i will probably do a small little haul tomorrow to just show you everything whatever we bought but probably once we will come back from del boy sweat when we will have i will have more time to just sit and have small little chit chat with you and just tell you a little bit about the law when you're taking your dog to Europe and in addition to that I would show you all the haul that I purchased. I also bought some small little bits for my grandparents. We don't really know if we will go see them but my dad goes there once every single month so I thought I would buy that and then in case we wouldn't go to see them my dad would take it with him next time but i think that's it from tonight it is quite late it is already half past nine and we want to go sleep soon so i will just change my clothes eat some pizza watch some bit of tv and then we will go sleep he's a good boy they're boy going to get a vaccination okay no 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 stay there stay there happy wednesday today i think it is already third day that i've been recording it is again evening time for some reason i'm not able to like record when i'm getting ready it's always like evening time when i'm able to sit down and just breathe out a little bit we just returned back from del boy's appointment like i said we were having an appointment with his vet in regards to the last vaccination and then also his health certificate because the certificate they couldn't give it to us i think it's like a maximum of 10 days before you're traveling you're supposed to get the certificate so we had to went there this month twice first i wanted to do a separate video just about all the laws and everything whatever you need to do if you are taking your pet especially dog with dogs it is much more complicated because right now europe is punishing uk for brexit and we're basically paying for it so i wanted to show you everything whatever you need to fill or whatever we had to get before we are traveling next week so that's the one part and i will include it in this video but yesterday i checked the footage and there was like a lot of footage already so what i think i will end up doing because i've got a massive tk max haul that i showed you briefly yesterday when we return back so there is quite a lot that we bought we will be taking with us to check and addition to that when we were returning today from Del Boy's sweat appointment next to it <laughs> is another TK Maxx that is our local TK Maxx and yesterday when we went to Lakeside 
I couldn't find my regular face wash or like cleanser for my face so I end up buying today another cleanser that I feel my face it feels much more better so I feel this cleanser I will be able to use even though I'm very much skeptical because cleanser ruined my face during the time when I was excessively sw swimming and then I finally found something that worked on my face and again I'm like buying after one year something that I'm not too sure if it will work or if it will break me so hopefully fingers crossed everything will be fine so I end up buying my self cleanser but it's completely different than the one that I'm used to and then once you go to the skincare section and the body care section you end up buying much much more than necessary so again today I bought five different things so everything whatever I will be showing you today um, every single product that I will be showing you today everything was bought either way yesterday or today when we were coming back from the wet um, and all of these products are from TK Maxx and it is recent purchase so if you are watching this like within one week two weeks from the day when I'm releasing it most likely you will find every single product still in any of your local TK Maxx's because like I mentioned we do travel with our car it is much more easier to buy like bigger items usually even when I travel I try to go and visit my family at least once a year but because when you're traveling with luggage you need to be really thinking what you're buying this time is the first time that I actually didn't have to think how big the item is how heavy the item is so that's the reason why you will see like a lot of quite heavier items so the first group that I would probably start with is skincare and body care because I feel that no matter if you're a man or a woman you you will definitely love some really nice smelly shower gels or body lotion and things like that and i feel that most of my family whoever comes to visit us even my sister first time when we took her to tk maxx first item that she or first brand that she spotted was this brand course i I pronounce it Chorus, I'm not too sure how other people pronounce it, but someone call it Chorus, someone call it Chorus, so I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm talking about this kind of brand, I hope you are able to see it. It is actually Greek body care brand, and when we walked there yesterday, my plan was to be picking, because I'm buying stuff for my stepmom, for my mom for also grandparents for my dad for my sister and for her husband so there is like a lot of people but everyone has different tastes so i thought i will just pick few sets that comes like um hand lotion and hand wash or body body lotion and body wash because that is quite inoffensive and you can't just simply offend anyone to be buying them body wash or body lotion so we end up buying yesterday there is actually three sets um, that were coming in like this pack of two so I bought this lavender and blossom body collection which comes with body smoothing milk which will be something similar to body lotion and then body cleanser renewing body cleanser and the scent I don't know if I mentioned the scent but it is lavender blossom and soft vanilla mask so this is the one set then the second set this one i actually thought i would pick for dad because he really likes this like natural greeny scents and this one is actually really nice again it is like the renewing body cleanser together with the body smoothing milk in scent of fresh cucumber water with citrus and bamboo twist so there's the second one and this one it, I, I feel this one will be more greeny one and then the third one in this kind of package is sun drenched vanilla wrapped in soft white florals so this one is the third one so these were these three sets and then staying with the same brand the three that I just show you were $8.99 because um they were in the plastic film then i also found these boxes that are from the same brand which is the coarse one and these ones are the exact same collection so it is the same body collection but these ones are 
in scent of golden passion fruit renewing body cleanser and body smoothing milk and the scent exact scent is lush passion fruit and ripe berries laced with early jasmine so airy jasmine so these ones the the two boxes let me just show you it looks like this and these ones were priced 9.99 i honestly feel like these are just perfect especially right now because um mother's day is coming i feel these would be just such a beautiful gifts for mother's day these two i actually bought for my sister and for my mom because i feel they deserve something really really nice so these two are, are another presents that we picked and staying with the soaps and body care i also bought these two sets that are the same ones and again they would be absolutely brilliant for mother's day present which are the scottish company kaluna botanics hand scrub and hand cream duo so these ones look like this and these two i actually saw that they were uh, formulated for sensitive hands like sensitive skin so i actually thought now during the winter at least my hands they're always cracking so i need to be continuously putting some kind of cream on me and i thought these are just really nice small present Yunus came to me and he was saying you know what it would be really great if we would pick like two small sets also for your sister's husband and for your dad so we end up buying two of these which is spec sniffs england indulgent body skin body care sets which looks like this you definitely saw these ones they are very inexpensive and they smell actually really lush um they look like this and it is basically body cleanser that is for body and hair whenever i see bottle that says body and hair it just like this is targeting definitely men. tarragon lime and musk scent and when i smelled it it actually is really nice for spring and summer so i feel um both of them my dad and even my sister's husband will be really happy for these so this one is men's body face and hair cleansing gel and then just regular men's body spray 100 ml another thing that i saw right next to the skincare and body care the natural toothpaste so if you know tk makes they have a large selection of marvis toothpaste and I think in one of my favorites, again, I was talking about we swap our regular Sensodam toothpaste for Marvis toothpaste. I feel they were previously, they were much more cheaper. Now they're six pounds. So I end up buying these two. Again, as an add-ins to my family packages, what I will be giving each family. And one scent that I bought or one flavor that I bought is anise mint, which is this one, the turquoise one. And then the black one is Amarelli uh, licorice. And this one is actually one of my favorite one. If you never tried Marvis toothpaste, I really highly recommend you to go that. For my grandparents, I don't know who else's grandparents are like that, but my grandparents, they don't wash themselves with normal like shower gel they wash themselves with hard soap and this time when i went there i always really like these italian or spanish uh soaps and this time they were having this brand which is called alchemia this box was 4.99 it is vanilla scented uh vegetable soaps they're massive ones but i will tell you what my grandma taught me and they look like this they you know this smells so beautiful and my grandma actually taught me that um you know you're having always in a box three of them and instead of them storing it inside these boxes they always use one and then the two they one they put in between the underwear and the second one in like freshly washed bed sheets and or towels or things like that and it smells really really nice and the same thing my mom used to do the same thing and i do that too whenever we are having like these type of hard soaps i always put it in between my underwear or i put it in between my towels and the scent of this is really really nice it's a very similar you know uh lately i was doing this review of the sweet pastry in paris scent and it smells exactly like the 
Zara Sweet Pastry in Paris fragrance. Exactly, exactly the same way, but more richer side on a vanilla than on the citrus. And again, like I said, just before we will be leaving, I will end up going for some really nice gems and we will be buying some kind of nice pasties as well. And then we were saying that we will buy some nice English teas because everyone from my family love English teas. You know, I already talked about these two that I absolutely love them. I bought one for my dad household and then for my sister's household. So these two. One is in scent of baby powder so this one is instant baby powder and the second one is the one that we recently bought as well and we are using in our bathroom and that is manuka honey so these two are the very last two shower gels and i think like we bought a lot of shower gels and body lotions for my family but like i said there will be a lot of chocolates and sweets for kids and then also we will be buying english teas and especially in czech republic i don't know how about other countries but in czech republic you don't really have a massive selection of teas so whenever we come over we always tend to take some kind of teas with us so these were the two big bottles of shower gels that we will be taking pretty much the last bit that i bought for my family are uh, the group of sweets treats and like food items so i bought my sisters boys they absolutely love this popping candy i bought these two one is in striking pineapple sour pineapple and this one is electric shock vitamin c one so i think they will like them too so these two i bought for the boys then for my dad it is very strange but again because we travel with our car I'm not really thinking what we're buying like whatever I know my dad would enjoy and what my family would enjoy I just want to buy it and take it for them so when I walked in and realized they do have this Asian section with their food and sodas and things like that and saw these two big ramens I was thinking my dad will absolutely love it because my dad loves ramen and he always buy it from center of Prague. They do have like this Asian market, but it is really far away from him. So I was thinking these ones, I will just make him happy with it. And the thing that I really liked about this ramen it is uh, made of broad noodle. So it's like the thick, like pasta like uh, noodles. And this one is just, it says spicy hot flavor. And the second one is sesame paste flavor. So these two i bought for my dad I, I know this is like such a boring presence but believe me there will be like more more stuff that will go to them so i know he will be excited from this so, like i said mother's day is coming and i want to do it in a way that i will be giving each of the women from our family i will be giving them presents like for a mother's day my sister has kids my mom has us um and my stepmom she raised us so i thought i would actually buy small little bits and then just make them as a small packaging for each of them and i really like these classic dolcetto gourmand cookies rolled wafers that uh, tk makes always sells and they do have different kind of flavors yesterday when we walked uh, they had three different ones so i thought i will pick one for each of them so this one is the strawberry one and it's just very small like innocent package it's it's okay to open it and finish in one go uh, the second the second scent the second flavor is tiramisu which is this one and then the third one is zesty lemon which is this one so these three again i picked for each of them and that's pretty much everything that includes the first part of the haul that we bought uh, when it comes to the presents for my family. Like I said, we will end up buying more chocolates and like more sweets. And then also we want to be buying the teas for each family. And also I had saved, I don't know if you watched my vlogmas, but during the Christmas 
in Aldi I was buying a lot of candles the ones that they were releasing that were being inspired by diptych candles and diffusers so I bought for each family again like um, candle and diffuser so then once we will be taken with us as well so first thing first I would again start with the home accessories we bought yesterday I for, for the longest time I really wanted to buy something that I could use to replace our utensils downstairs in our kitchen and I found these ceramics so I found these two which are like ceramic jars for utensils to, to be used in kitchen like for spatulas and for serving spoons and things like that and they're just perfect each of them was $6.99 and these are this will look so beautiful in the kitchen so this one is a uh, white and cream one they also had them in white and green and white and blue and i love the color so these two we end up buying that is for downstairs for our kitchen next to it was sale section and i've been eyeing like glass jars and things like that for smoothies and ice coffee and i spotted this which is basically, I don't know if you're familiar with Kilner, which is basically a jar company that do jars for pickles and like all sorts of really, really nice jars like and marmalades and things like that. And I didn't know they did actually sell this glass smoothie making set. So it comes with straw, jar and then two lids. It looks like this. Let me just open it and show you how does it look like from inside. And that was actually only four pound reduced from 9.99 so that was a massive bargain and it looks like this there is nothing wrong with it there is no scratch nothing like that it has like the holder for the straw which comes with it then it comes with two different lids so one looks like this and the other one is basically for iced coffee or if you are taking it with you to the car so you can close it and just like so you can just change the top part and the best thing is it's actually made as a jar so you can just unscrew it and use it as a it's just brilliant i was so surprised so when i saw that i actually thought i need to get it because this is really good and Yunes, when he saw it yesterday he was saying oh you could take second one i would actually really enjoy to be drinking from this so that was the second item that we bought then for our french press we start drinking a lot of coffee from our french press because i feel when we were uh, buying these pots for our nespresso we were always drinking so so much because it didn't really give us no caffeine i felt it is really less strong it doesn't really have no effect on me especially morning time i need strong coffee and i was thinking you know what we will just buy french press and start buying these ground coffees and since that moment that is my favorite thing morning time um, every single time whenever we go to TK Maxx I end up buying one or two tins of coffee so these two we end up buying one is from Guatemala and then the second one is from India then for my skincare for myself I bought like I said I was on hand for my previous cleanser that I always use from Skin Research. I heard a lot of good things about this. So this one is the, the Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser with Bourbon Vanilla and Clove Bud. And it has added cocoa butter, rosemary and chamomile for calm in your skin so i feel this one will be really nice and gentle for the for the face and i'm not really worried to be swapping it the only thing is it was really expensive even for tk max this was 20 pound but i was thinking i want something that i know won't break my skin because i'm really careful last time when i was having the longest time problem with my skin and it breaks my skin barrier was cleanser that i overdone on my face it was really harsh for my face and it completely broke my skin barrier so i'm really careful and i was thinking if i would spend money for something that is face cream and then face cleanser original price is 49.99 i'm not too sure if i believe that that this is original price 49.99 but i end up paying 19.99 so this one was the face cleanser the other two items that i end up buying for my face 
uh, Korean Beauty and it is the brand Beauty of Joseon. I do use a lot of these small gentle serums. This one I never used so I'm, I really wonder what this will do for me. I do have the green one and I do have the pinky one but I never had the yellow one which is the glow serum with propolis and niacinamide. I do have niacinamide that I'm running out of and I thought on our way I would want to take smaller bottles so I bought this and then the second one is this ginseng essence water again by uh, Beauty of Joseon and this is the one again I will include better shots because I have again lightning box behind it so it might be too much bright so these three were the items that I wanted to take with me and also test it so just be ready I will be doing some small little reviews probably after the one week of using it if it really helped if I saw any like visible changes in my face or if it doesn't just agree with my face which sometimes happens that I buy something and within one week two weeks I stop using it because either way it doesn't really work with me or it's breaking me down so these three I will be definitely testing and then I bought two items for my hair I bought this antifreeze spray which as you can see, my hair are pretty much frizzy, but I actually bought it before I will blow dry, blow dry in my hair. This is the Vela Professional ME line, and I really like and enjoy any kind of Vela product. So this one is the one that I bought there. And then today I actually bought this dry oil spray that's supposed to make your hair shiny. And it was again in a sale section for £4 reduced from 9.99 and this is from beauty works so why not give it a go and try it straight away now and it's supposed to be dry coconut oil mm, this smells really really nice yeah this is really really nice so this one what i understand is this is great for dry ends and split ends if you're having like a day before you're going to wash them and they're like not shiny and your ends are really really dry like crispy dry like today's mine you can just spray it on and as you can see it really helps so this one i bought today as well and then the last thing that i end up buying is this mario body school uh deodorant and i have to say this I'm really happy I found it actually. It was $6.99, but I think for good deodorant, it's not a lot and it's a massive box. If I'll show you, it just keeps going up. It keeps going up. It is 100% natural. It is for any skin type and it is paraben free, aluminum free, baking soda free and paraben free. So it is count as a natural deodorant and I wanted to actually swap from my cheapy deodorant for something better because I feel that first of all I don't sweat that much during autumn winter but I still can smell myself with the other deodorant that I'm always buying it's my I think it's far or Rexona or something like that but I actually thought that I would swap for better one so I will give it a go and it, as I said it was just $6.99 so I think for big box like this it's really really good. Very last items that I bought are some hair accessories. I to be really honest I feel that the longest time I didn't buy no hair accessories I think last time I bought something for my hair but actually uh, those scrunchies like those type of uh, material scrunchies like silk scrunchies for my hair from Shein and apart from that the longest time I didn't buy no clips or anything like that and yesterday when I was walking around the shelves and selecting presents for my family I was actually thinking you know what I want to make myself happy and I want to buy some some really pretty girly um, hair accessories for my hair because really long time I didn't buy anything and I just wanted to make myself happy. I saw these, they brought a lot of um, hair accessories from this brand that's called Made In. 
um, it looks like this and they were having the cutest small little pieces so I end up buying these two which this one it looks very white on camera but it's like creamy of white color and then this hair clip that is like in lilac color like a blushy lilac color so these two are big clips for my hair then i bought smaller ones which are these little butterflies i don't know if you can remember i will zoom them in so you can see them properly they look like this so i thought yesterday when i walked around the shelves again and i saw these butterflies i actually thought that's so pretty. It's so strange that like the, the fashion and like small little accessories that we used to wear as a small kids are just coming back up. And these I didn't see for the longest time, like in no shop at all. Like it is years that I saw them, like after, after years I saw them. So I bought these and they were again like inexpensive, they were 4 99 for 10 of them. So I think it is quite good as well. And then I bought these two um, just for my ponytails. So again, these were the little hair accessories that I end up buying for myself. And I'm actually really happy because, you know, sometimes you should make yourself happy with those small little things. And when Eunice, actually, I was thinking like when Eunice will see it in the basket, he will say like, what the heck, what are you doing? But when he saw it inside the basket, he was saying like, oh, are you buying some of these for yourself as well? And I said, these are for me. And he was saying like, yeah, they are really, really cute. So I was really happy that I end up picking these. And that's pretty much everything, whatever we bought in yesterday's shopping haul and then today on our way when we were returning from Del Boy Sweat. So I hope it somehow inspired some of you that uh, Mother's Day is coming and you don't need to be necessarily like traveling like us to be buying these kind of things. So these were the little items that we end up buying between today and yesterday but this is the last part of this video so i don't want to finish it for anyone but if you're not really interested in what is the law and what change if you're trying to bring your pet to europe so if you're not one of these people that would be interested in this subject um i feel that this part won't be really interested for you but if you're interested in this i feel there is a lot of knowledge in it that we went through and when I was doing small little research before we actually went to our vet and before I even knew that we we had planned to be traveling to Europe but I was just doing research what all documents we will need and what everything we will need to um, gather together before we will travel. I was actually really shocked with this because I knew we will need to have rabies vaccination and the rest I knew that our dog is chipped and we do have European passport. So I actually thought we have everything whatever we need because that was the standard law that you had to have. My battery just discharged so I need to be very very quick because the second one is a halfway through empty so i need to be really quick with the last part of this video so what i was saying is when we were when we planned our european trip i knew we need four things which is rabies vaccination booster vaccination and then chip in our pet which we had and european passport that's the only four things that i was ready with and we thought oh this is perfect it's just we will just stick to injection in him we will put some stamp in our passport and that's it this is by the way this is our first time traveling to europe so we didn't know nothing would ever change when we walk and i'm so so happy i start gathering the information as soon as i found out about our trip to europe because it was a lengthy process we went last month in the middle of the month so it is probably five weeks back we went for rabies vaccination um which by the way you need to have minimum of 21 days before travel then like i said you do need to have your booster but the yearly booster can be vaccinated at the same time with the rabies vaccinations so when we found out we can have both of the injections together we then discussed with the vet that what we will end up doing is last month she gave him 
uh, the vaccination against rabies because that one needs to be in the body before you are traveling out of UK 21 days prior to your exit from UK um, and then addition to that she gave me some forms for health certificate I didn't know that we will need to have the health certificate because that is quite pricey certificate we do have European passport but because UK is not part of EU anymore these vets that are doing the injection against rabies can't be put in no entry into the passport anymore and can't be put in um, stamps inside the passport because then straight away they would invalidate the passport so what our vet said to us is the passport we can't show anyone anymore because we're having our living address in the UK and the pet is registered with UK VAT. So unless we will re-register our dog with Czech VAT, who's going to be then giving him the booster and everything every single year we would need to be returning with him to Czech Republic then we're not going to be able to ever use the passport anymore and for us to be taking him abroad we need the health certificate which is basically a lengthy document which looks like this that we went to collect today it looks like this and it's basically a document of probably 15 pages um, and in the end you're having one single page that has document against rabies so that's the document which is instead of our passport that we need to take with us and then we need to take uh, with us the original document from the rabies so like the vaccination card we need to take but we need to be paying every single time whenever we will travel abroad for this health certificate it doesn't it expires the moment you return back to uk so the health certificate can be given to you 10 days like more than 10 days before you're traveling out of the country and the moment you return back to uk it's invalid and you need to apply again unless we would now find that in czech republic who would be able to copy the entry of the rabies vaccination inside the passport and then the passport would be valid but uk vet can't be stamping anymore inside the european passport these 15 pages cost us 195 pounds today addition to that i also ask for some kind of medication that we can give delboy because the first day i think it is it is roughly 10 hours that we will be in a car and the second day is i think six and a half hours so um and then the same journey we are coming back so the doctor the vet that we went to see today they were really kind they said to us like oh we will describe you we will prescribe you some kind of medication to like keep him asleep like to make him sleep to just calm him down and they prescribe us two kind of medication that they said it's the best to take them together i just wanted to speak about this health certificate because if you're like us who's having european passport and you're wondering you're able to travel with the european passport to europe from uk you can't anymore on our way back he needs to take some pill again step one because otherwise again they wouldn't allow us to return back to uk so that's another thing because we are traveling there just for one week straight away when we reach there within two days we need to find a vet in czech republic who's gonna give a stamp inside this certificate that they personally give our dog a tapeworm treatment which is like pill that he needs to swallow but then the vet in europe needs to stamp it um otherwise they won't let us pass the uk border back to uk with our dog so that is another thing that is just ridiculous but more than that i just feel that we're, we will be traveling to czech republic every single year minimum of one one time a year and to be given for health certificate or 15 pages with 15 different stamps 250 pound i just feel like it's just ridiculous 
and second thing is these health certificates so we moved to this area more than one year ago in March it will be exactly one year and previously we were registered in Ilford which is in London and our vets were unable to give us the health certificate they literally said to us if you need health certificate you need to either way go or register yourself with different vets or just go to different vets to sort yourself the health certificate so not everyone is able to actually give you the health certificate so just be aware of that that if you're registered somewhere not everyone is able to give it to you but that's everything from today's video and from this vlog i really hope you somehow find this vlog a little bit helpful either way if it is just because of the shopping haul or maybe it is because of the explanation what are the current rules when you're taking your dog abroad or maybe you just wanted to have a tip what to buy for mother's day or mom so thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you on my next vlog if you still didn't subscribe please subscribe to my channel by subscribing to my channel and also liking this video so more people can explore me and get to see this content thank you so much for watching and as always i look forward to see you bye bye now